morning. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog uh, of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. So today it's gonna I think it's gonna rain again. Um we've got a lot of cattle to get out. Maybe some stuff to fix. Yeah, see what we'll get up to. I don't know at this minute in time. That's that's real life. Real life farming here in uh, in the UK. So yeah, check it out. So we'll start the day on the straw blower. Get the cows bedded down. And we're off! So I always like to open the back window when we're reversing. That way, if we hit anything or hear anybody, well, we can hear them. One bale done, on to the second one. We've cut all these, we can just back onto them then. We're blasting straw in now, down the side of these troughs, which they've pretty much just about eaten up. I like to see that. I'll keep this up for these as well. A little bit of silage that they're eating. Yeah, we'll make these guys happy. Just kick this up. Dad's feeding out on the TM. Looking very yellow at the minute. Tell you what though, with them troughs, we are getting a zero waste. There's nothing on the floor there. They're not chucking any out. They can't pull it back. You can get plenty in them. I, I am liking them. Although it looks like my dad's trying to um, drive into them a bit. So that's the straw party done for down here. A few more bales to go though, yeah. Just shimmy that around. There's a good example of the other troughs you see. Look at that. That's um, meal just wasted. Where's them? There isn't any. So eventually, there'll be a cost saving that will mount up. We're using them. Okay, we found out yesterday we can't feed out from the mixer into them. Um, Some said, oh, why don't you raise the floor on the outside? Well, because if we raise this, it means we've got to rip out the concrete. We've got to change the level of the concrete in one side, either the shed or the or out here. And um, that sort of defeats the object, keeping everything nice and level. So what we uh, what we'll probably do if we do think that these are great is um, look at changing either something on the mixer or something along them lines to be able to do it. But um, yeah, we've just got to check out the price on that first. So now it's just filling up the mixer. Right, we'll get this packed up around here. And then we might be able to blast these windows off at some point today because they're getting a bit mucky. It's not good for filming, you know. Looking through that. Right, we're going to get some cattle out now anyway. We've got a big boy out here. Getting some out now. So we're just pushing some of these guys now in the muck off them. So they're coming in. I'll try to push up. I'll trap his head and we'll get his uh, weight and his head covered. Ben's here. Um, I thought I would give the results of John Deere Mix screenings barley the other day. Now, the winner was Thomas Marshall. Well done. Um, he was, woo <laughs> woo Thomas, yeah. Um, he got 547 kilos, I think it was. The actual answer is, if I look here, at my sheet, 540 kilos. So only seven kilos off. 547. That's not very close enough, is it, to give me a So very well done, Thomas. Um, yeah, a lot of people were putting like two ton, three ton, things like that. Well, um, yeah, no any of that. It was very lightweight. Down there. Got more cattle to get out. It's uh, going to be a busy few days for cattle. 
So looking around these, nice to see that they're all laid down, relaxed, chewing their cuds. Try not to disturb them too much. Keep everybody nice and calm. Right, so we've got the cattle out, road trip time tomorrow, big road trip time. Um, now I'm just going to go and have a look at some of our ploughed fields and see if uh, we think they might drill or not, or maybe, or definitely not. <laughs> who knows, who knows. They might have dried out enough. I'm off in Musa Power to go and have a look at some fields. She's binging at me because I've not got the keys inside. Ugh, here we go. Got a spade with me. The wheat in there is coming up nice, apart from the scars on the landscape. I've just changed to using my mic. It looks dry on the top. That's what we've got the shovel for though. See what it's like underneath. To be fair, Yeah, it is, it is wet, um, but it's not as bad as I expected it to be. Like, I think we can make a seed bed with that. At this part of the field anyway, we'll just um, walk to where it's a bit wetter. I think it'll do it, yeah? Yeah. Well, look at that. Ploughing kills all the worms, doesn't it? There's a big fella. <clears throat> oh, he's gone. He's gone, he could get away. But um, you'll see on top of the plowing we've got all these little holes. So they're everywhere. Oh, another one's come out, look. He's a fast mover, this one. He is, look at this. Straight out of one into another. Eating all that vegetation that's underneath. Keeping our soils alive. See if he moves again. <laughs> Brilliant. Another one there, look. And this is in one spadeful. Yeah. Another one there. Yeah. So when they sort of say about um has to be direct drilled to get your worm life and stuff like that. Well, look at that. Full of worms, this soil. Full of them. One, two, three. There you go. That's why I don't. Another pot, by the way. Another, another dig. Another worm there. This is a bit wet, though, isn't it? And it's like that. It's just going to be paddling it in. So, yeah. Where it's clay, it's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be fantastic. So I've come over to this spring barley that we put in the other day. Nicely in the rows now. Coming along. Getting the odd weed popping through. That's you gone. But um, yeah, that's nicely up. This field though, just looking possible. It's possible, it's very wet over that side. Maybe we could just get maybe one bag in, I don't know. It's really a field of two halves is this. Very nice, sandy, loamy at the top. And as you get closer and closer to the ditch, see the colour change there? It goes very, very clay and also very wet. So I've been digging around the top, getting um, sort of all itchy for, uh, for coming and drilling this. But realistically, I need to check the bottom and see what it's like down here. I've got to wear in. It's a bit sticky. Oh, nightmare. Dug some up from the bottom here. So that's not going to be very good on my tines, is it? Or my roller. Too wet. As you can see. Looks like he struggled to plough it. Oh, I've got back in the yard and look who's here. T and J. The beast of Scania. It's a right weapon, isn't it? Look at that. So we'll see that probably when we go to Great Eccleston this year to the show if the trucks are still on. It's a proper driver cleaning his lorry out. <laughs> We're all right, James. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, yeah. Not bad. We're just tipping out the mixer because it's making a horrible screeching sound. Um, 
and we're not quite sure what it is so we're going to get everything out and then we can look at um, what's inside near it now really screeching look at this he's even got some fancy Kelso bar at back Getting that emptied, James is on his way back to the docks. So he's going to get his wagon put down. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> Based. On his way to an Ingham. Turn it on! No, it's this. <laughs> this, this button. Is the one on that one? What's up? So you got a blade, blade stuck under it? I've got it stuck under it. Rock off somewhere. Has it done much damage? What's the floor like? No. Yeah, it's scraped a bit as it's gone round, but nothing. Nothing major? I don't think so. Wait, Looks like it's come off there, hasn't it? There's two the come off. There's one here flopped. Nearly all flopped, mate. Have to watch how we're dropping them in. Well, it's a bit fucking. You have yeah. to put them in the middle, but lower them in. Not drop them. I can see how you can break that one dropping it in. I suppose that's open you as drop well. Drop any of them, can't you? They all look like they've been bent. This is. What's that? Is that meant to... Yeah, it must be it. Double it, doubled up. That's meant to stop it, but he's that got one under it as well. There's a, a load of bits on that it's magnet. Fucking nails and all sorts. Hey, they haven't been daft, these two. There's no key in it. Well done. So, yeah, we just looked around in here. Um, there's a lot missing. So I've just been on cramp. I've ordered a full set. We'll change everything. Ordered the bolts. Hopefully I've got the right ones. I've got M16 bolts at 50 mil long, which we've not, I've not took one off to measure, but I think that's where we're at. Uh, counter sunk, obviously. Um, so yeah, then we'll get them swapped over. That'd be a nice job. Get all of them off. And we'll be back up to full power. So now I'm on the nine meter. We'll switch on to this and we will uh, push this Trafford Gold up. Get that tidied up. Into one big pile. Really easy with this. Don't have to run on any of it. Just keep going. Pushing along. Right, so we'll start that mix, but Noah's got the key for the tractor. And he's taking a load of muck up the track. That's what Ben and him have been doing, getting a bit of muck out. Oh, it's very mucky. But we are just getting the last few bits of offside of here. There we go. Ben's flying around on the TM, feeding. We are still empty of molasses. That was supposed to turn up earlier today, but um, it hasn't due to traffic or something means we're having to adjust it because if you remember we are totally out of molasses so we're going to have to put more traffic gold in just to balance the ration back up to where uh, to the right protein and energy levels not ideal though not ideal like we want to keep everything consistent in feeding cattle but um, you know what perfection is a journey without destination is it look at that hey Inspirational guys, inspirational. Right, let's get this um, let's get this mix done, Joe. Well, it is chucking it down again. I'm gonna use a new fork, the new one, um, down here just to chuck this hay up because we're running the cattle, they've chucked it everywhere. You know if I just push it up with a bucket, it'll pull all the muck and stuff from the bottom, so we'll just go manual and use a fork. Now I've got the tines on the nine meter and it started chucking it down. You see the yard's wet. I'm glad I did not start drilling because it just got rained off. We are half a tank probably in, and um, yeah, just seems to be the year, doesn't it? Rain, rain, rain. Never, ever, ever known it like this. Like in spring, you can always get your crops in. 
you're not like pushed for time okay in the autumn sometimes we are but not in the spring and we are this time like we're running out of time to get these crops in, in the ground so i'm on the six nine now we'll just get this um backed into the shed we're pretty much done then guys so just blasted the windows off on the lorry big day in that tomorrow stay tuned for that adventure right everything is back in the shed nice and safe and that is ooh, get the straw out of my hair that is it from me today um if you've liked the video as always remember to press that like button really helps um, any channel that you watch um out if you're pressing like button commenting also boom that really that really works even if it's just like i like that joke comments add to the algorithm and putting it put it out to more people and then um obviously subscribing but yeah tomorrow i'm gonna be out in that um so we'll see what video and see where i get um what my destinations are just find out tomorrow um but yeah until then i'm gonna go have some tea then see the kids see you later guys bye ben ben's not happy because his lawnmower's not turned up FedEx. 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 Shame on you. <laughs> no, they've said they've, they've said they've, they've said they've tried three times and they haven't had them. It's lying. Lying. Lying FedEx. It's a full day off work to sit there. Full day off work, you're saying, to sit there doing nothing, waiting for this FedEx parcel that's never turned up. And then they're claiming that they've delivered it three times. I've tried to deliver it three times, so he's not happy. He's, uh, he's on the rampage, should we say. So, anybody else had problems like that? I'm sure. Everybody's had problems like that, and the delivery companies are a nightmare. Um, right, anyway, that's it. Second ending. Bye. Oh, look at this. we got Hewicks here. Fetching us that molasses that we so desperately need. So we're going to um, weigh him in. Yeah, what a beast. The proper scan you, that, isn't it? Very nice. Beyond tonight. <laughs> So we'll get the big fancy scanner off here. Nice and steady. It's flashing it, looks well in them colours. And he'll get that tipped and, uh, and on his way. Beast is that.